Dream King Films. We're here with Coach Rams of the Mandarin Mustangs. Hey, Coach, 34-33, tough, hard-fought win. Coach, real quick, give me your thoughts on this hard-fought victory. Uh, you know, I'm just so proud of the players. I mean, we, we, we knew we had to get this game. We knew it was going to be tough coming in here, uh, playing a team as good as Oak Leaf, well-coached, really talented. Um, you know, got the lead, and then, you know, the quarterback got in a groove, and, um, you know, we, we were really tested defensively. Our, our endurance was tested. Our depth was tested. But um, we needed to make one last play, and we did. Coach, uh, Old Leaf, they went for the two point try to, to try to get the win. How surprised was you or Coach Garrett to uh, send his offense I, back? You know, out? I think you see more and more guys doing it. I think if you look at college games, uh, pro games, uh, high school games, I think more and more, play, more and more coaches are saying, you know what, let's win it now. Overtime isn't all it's cracked up to be. And you know, in high school, you know that PAT is, you know, hey, you score, but then you miss the PAT, and then they, you know. It's it's there's a lot that can that can go wrong, and I think he thought, hey, I'm gonna put the ball in my best player's hand and, and try to win the game. So I understand it. Coach, uh, the Knights had just made a furious comeback, but just talk about how proud he was of your defense to hold him off on that two point try. I mean, we, you know, we were so we were so spent at that point. I mean, we were down guys. We had, uh, you know, like I said, our endurance was tested, our depth was tested. Um, we had kids cramping, we had kids banged up, and we said, hey guys, we need you, we need we need one play here. And, um, you know, they, they stepped up, and um, a lot of times these games come down to those situations. Coach, you scored off a block field goal. They say sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, but Coach, can you talk about that play real quick? I've never, I mean, I, I, I've never seen in a game I've coached, and honestly, I was telling one of the guys I coached with, I thought they had it and were running the other way with it, and then I cut, saw a white jersey getting out there and, uh, uh, you know, with nothing but the end zone in front of them, and uh, so, you know, I mean, we've, We've we've it, we've battled this year. I mean, and, and you know we've grown a lot. And uh, you know, quite frankly, I think we deserve a break like that. So I, I'm glad we got it. Yes, sir, coach. This was a huge district win, coach. Can you just talk about how important this win was? I mean, you know, we we knew if we lost this game, you're you're really you're you're really your your destiny's out of your own hands. Certainly, you're not going to win the district. And um, it, you know, as far as playoffs go, you really just have to win out and then hope that you get some breaks along the way with some other scores. And um, we knew if we won this game, we could still control our own destiny. We wanted to do that. Um, and uh, you know, set ourselves up for the last three games. And we told the guys coming into this one, said, "Hey, guys, look, we were three and three last year. At this point, going into a big district game, that that group took advantage of the opportunity. You know, they they learned from the tough games early, and then they started playing their best football. And this is your opportunity to do that. And I was really proud of the way the kids came out. Coach, can you talk about the focus and the preparation that you guys put into it this week to come over here and get this win? You know, we we talked on Monday and said, you know, I said, look, guys. Um, you know, we, we always kind of go through the, what we did well, what we did poorly. Um, and, you know, we, we kind of backed off a little bit of practice, give them an opportunity to recover some physically. And, um, you know, we really challenged the kids, especially later in the week with, you know, we talked about legacy, seniors, you know, what is your legacy going to be, you know? And uh, I told them, I said, it was funny, I, I, this, this Buster Rhymes song, What's It Gonna Be, popped in my head like Thursday. It was that when I was like college, like late 90s, early 2000s. And I just kind of, so I told the kids, I was like, hey, man, what's it going to be, you know? You know, you guys have an opportunity to leave a legacy, hold the rope. Um, you're good enough to do it. And, um, you know, what's it going to be out here on Friday night? And, you know, I said, this, your, your individual stats will fade away. Your name will fade away. My name will fade away. But what you do and what you, what you leave will never go. And what you did as a group will always be there. And, um, you know, as a group, you can do mighty things. So I was really proud of the fact they came out here um, and, and, and played like a team. Yes, sir, Coach Walt Simmons quarterback for the old league Knights. He's a highly recruited guy. You got one of the best in the nation right. at Carson Bay. Right. Coach, just talk about watching those two guys duel it out from start to end, Coach. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, Simmons showed why he's as, as highly rated as he is. I mean, um, you know, ability to keep plays alive, um, you know, big arm. Uh, he was more accurate, you know, in the third quarter he got hot. And, uh, you know, that's the thing when, it, when a quarterback gets in a rhythm, you know, we didn't do it enough, I think, from a a pass rush standpoint to really make him uncomfortable there, um, and you know he's a hell of a, he's a he's a hell of a quarterback, real talented kid. I wish he was a senior, but he's coming back. Um, and uh, you know Carson, I think had his best game tonight. Um, you know he was in control, he was in command. Uh, we let him down with a couple drops, but uh, um, he, you know I was really really happy with his play, and he was he was he was engaged on the sideline, and um, you know, his leadership was great tonight. So um, you know we saw the best of Carson, we saw the best version of Carson tonight. Coach, thanks for talking with yes, me. Sir. Good luck to you, Thank future. you very much. Appreciate you, right, Coach. Take care, Phil. Yes, sir.